Okay, so what we're going to look at now is electromagnets and something called a solenoid or a helix. Now, we've already learned Orsted's principle, and it says up here, you know, um, using Orsted's principle, we know that we can create a weak circular magnetic field around a straight conductor by passing electric current through that wire. Now, the using the right-hand rules, so depending on which way you send the electric current, will tell you which way the magnetic field points, uh, whether clockwise, counterclockwise, and um, to that like that we already practiced before. Now, what we're going to see is that we can increase the strength of a magnetic field. Um, you know, we can do that by increasing the electric current, or we can do something else. And if you, you know, if you start researching where electromagnets are found, they are found everywhere. I could list on for at least a day um, describing all the different places where you would find electromagnets and solenoids. Um, they're just commonly used um, since, you know, electromagnetic principles are used basically everywhere. So what is a solenoid and a helix, and why is it so important that we coil up wire uh, in, a, in a fashion to, um, to make these electromagnets or these solenoids? So in the very basic terms, a solenoid is just a, a straight conductor that is being coiled up. Okay, so it's wrapped into really tight coils. Coiling up the, con uh, the conductor allows for what's called, and please underline this, constructive reinforcement of the magnetic field produced using Orsted's principle. This reinforcement results in a stronger and concentrated magnetic field. So here you can see we've got a wire. It's going to be connected to a battery. Um, and so we could do this. We could make a little battery here. And that's a negative terminal and a positive terminal, meaning that we know that the electric current is going to flow from positive to negative, the conventional electric current. Okay. And in here, we've placed something. Okay, so we've got something placed in here. Now, you don't need to have that in there. This is uh, what's called a permeable core. Okay, and so this here is a permeable core. Now, what is a permeable core? A permeable core is a ferromagnetic material. It's going to be something that is made of iron, nickel, or cobalt or a an alloy of these metals so why do we use those well what we're going to find out is that putting a permeable core in here or a, a ferromagnetic material that's made of an alloy of iron nickel or cobalt what we're going to see is that when you pass electricity through these wires and we produce the magnetic fields that will align the dipoles within the permeable core which will then make this a very very powerful strong magnet the more permeable the core, the stronger the magnet. The less permeable the core, like if you leave it empty and there's no core, you'll get a, a magnetic field, but it won't be as strong as if you put a permeable core in there. And we'll learn more about that in the, um, when we talk about electromagnets in the next lesson. And we talk about how to use the electromagnetic calculator, uh, sorry, the electromagnetic equation, um, so that we can create uh, and then figure out how strong a magnetic field is based on the current and the number of turns and things like that. All right, so let's first figure out if we turn this into a magnet, what side is south and which side is north, and how can we figure that out? Well, one thing I want to show you first is that if this is the current going in this direction from positive to negative, that means that at this side of the, where it's wrapped, the current is going to be flowing in this direction every single time. Okay, the way it's wrapped, this is what happens. Good. Now, let's pretend that I took a saw and I cut straight through here. And then I looked and I took off the top part and I looked from the top down. So I'm going to take a saw and cut straight through here. Then I'm going to remove the top portion and look straight down. And what I would see here is what we'll call the top view. I'll leave a lot of space here where you write the word top view. Okay. What you would see is you would see this coil would come up and then go in, come up, go in, come up, go in. So basically come up go in come up go in commit come up go in and so on and so forth so this is sort of the top view the permeable core would be sitting in the middle right here and this would be the wire that's right there so see this part here that's that wire right there well which way is it pointing well it's coming towards us so that's a dot and then it goes behind now these should be offset because clearly you're not going to wrap it perfectly like this but and then the next one it's coming back up and then it goes in up and in up and in okay 
So hopefully that's clear at this point. And what we're going to look at now is we're going to say, well, what does the magnetic field look like in this case? Okay, so I'm just going to switch to a different color. Okay, and we use our right-hand rule. So let's draw, I'm just going to draw one circle. We know there's multiple, but I'm just going to draw one in this case, and one in this case, one in this case, and one in this case, like this, like this, like this, and like this. Okay, so the right-hand rule says that the current is coming towards us. We use the right hand, and that means that this is going here, and this is going like that. Here, it's going there, and there. And same for all of them, okay? It's hard to draw those arrows, okay. So you can see those arrows inside are pointing to the left and outside they're pointing to the right. Take your thumb for the top part and point down and then wrap your finger around and you'll see it'll go like this, and like this, and like this, and like this, like this, like this, like this, and like this. Okay, now what you'll notice is that even because it's going down at this point, the current, sorry, the magnetic field that's being produced is pointing, same thing, pointing to the left and outside is pointing to the right. And so you can see that no matter what, for the top and the bottom, it's pulling in this way, and it's pulling in this way. So what you, what you, the result is, is that you get this situation where the magnetic field is coming into the one end, like so, and then coming out of the other end. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that inside here, the magnetic field is pointing in this direction and then it's being pulled in through and then wraps all the way around the outside and back around. Now what you should notice from that is that this looks just like a regular bar magnet that we've looked at before. Okay. And so that would mean that since it's flowing from this way to this way, that would make the, that side over here, that would make this side the south side because it's the magnetic fields coming in and that would make this side the north side okay so that means over here we know that this is now north and that this here is south all right now you can use the right hand rule to to figure this out basically if you just take the, you know the current you always draw these arrows pointing up and if you take your fingers and you curl the the points um, here you'll see that your fingers inside point to the left Every time you grab a wire on this side, you'll see that the your fingers are pointing to the left, which is towards from south to north. So north would be on this side and south would be on this side. And that will always be the case. There is another right-hand rule that you can use, and that would be where you grab the conductor with your fingers pointing in the direction of the current. So you'd wrap your hands around with your fingers pointing around this way, and your thumb would point north. Okay, so I'm going to here, I'll try and draw a hand doing this. This is going to not turn out well but i will try it anyways okay so you would grab your thumb would point this way this is going to be a hand and you would reach your fingers around the other side these are your knuckles here okay and you would reach your hand around and grab it and this is your sleeve here okay you don't have to draw that and your thumb would point that way and, and that's how you could figure out which side was north, which side is south, or you could draw it out and figure it out that way. But again, drawing in the direction of the current and drawing these arrows, it's very important. Okay, so now what we're going to look at is what happens if we reverse the situation and we take this here and we make this situation happen. So we reverse the current, okay? Now what we've done is we've left the coils wrapped the same way but we're reduced or we're reversing the current. So now the current is flowing in this direction, which means it's coming up around the back and then going down at this point, and then down around the back, and then down at this point, down at this point, down, oh, wow. Down at this point, down at this point, down at this point, down at this point. Down at this point. And then, of course, down here. So let's, um, if it's going down on this side where we cut it, then this is going to be your X, your X going into the page, into the page, into the page. And on the opposite side, it's coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out. Well, let's draw our little 
the purple magnetic field, like so. And I'll just I'm gonna try and draw it a little better than the last time. That's pretty good that one. Oh that one failed. There we go. There we go. You would never have to go through all this when you're doing the lesson. We'll do the examples afterwards. So now right hand rule, thumb points up, fingers point in the direction of the current. Oh, and look which way it is. It's going this way, this way. And now all these are of course the same. That thumb goes into the page, and you'll see that this happens. It's the same. Oh. Like that. Okay, so now you'll see that the field is being pulled in this way, pulled in this way, pulled in this way, and shot out this way, shot out this way, shot out this way. And it basically wraps all the way around like this and wraps all the way around like this. So that would mean that that would make this side our uh, south side. And that would make this side the north side, right? And I, I think if you want to draw it inside as well, you can draw it this way, where it goes here, here, and here. Okay, and so now we can come over and we finish up with the last part. We know that now it's clear that this is the north and this is the south. So we switched, we switched the uh, north and the south by switching the direction. Now, if you coiled it the opposite way, it would have turned out the same way. Okay, so now what we're gonna try is draw the hand. So this case, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna try. In this case, my hand would be, my fingers would be coming around the top if I grabbed it, because I've got to point my fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. So my wrist is on the other side now like this. And that means that my thumb on the other side is pointing in that direction, which tells me that that is north. So again, that's the second right hand rule um, in how to figure out what side is north and which side is south. So what we're going to do next is do some practice with this and I'll post that example as well.